This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a very cool video for you guys, something you're probably not expecting. I'm gonna tell you guys how to check and see if an app is using a ton of your battery. If an app is using a lot of your battery, it's probably a memory leak, bad coding design on part of the developers. There's not a whole lot you can do about it, but if you think that an app is using too much battery, two ways to check this. And the first way is something you're probably thinking that I'm gonna show you. The second way is something you probably haven't thought of. So let's go into settings, scroll down to a battery, and from here, you can wait for this to load and scroll down and see what has been using most of your battery. Now you have to remember, all the apps shown here are apps that you use probably pretty often. So Telegram, I use that a lot. Uh, if I click on it, I can actually see how long it was on screen and in the background. So maybe a phone call or something like that. And you can go through all of these and see what's going on. Now that's cool. So that's one way to see what app is using the most battery. You can kind of drill down figure out when it was. But recently I actually ran into an application that gets my phone very warm. So most people have a case on their phone, but if you don't and you open an app and let's say you leave it on screen for like five minutes, maybe you go uh, grab a bite to eat, brush your teeth, take a shower, I don't know, whatever, but your phone, you leave your phone on. When you come back, the app is still up. Whatever app it was, you come back and you're like, wow, you pick up your phone. You're like, that's warm. That is really warm. But you weren't doing anything on the screen. That is how you know that an application has a memory leak and is probably either churning through CPU on your phone, causing a lot of battery wear or something else, something with the RAM, something's out of whack. Now that's something for the app developer to fix. You can't do anything about it except for using the app less. Make sure it's updated in the app store. But again, you got to pray that the developer knows that that is an issue. You can also email the developer, you know, go through those routes. Uh, let them know what's happening. Let them know what version of iOS you're on. In this case, uh, what I recommend to do, if you pick up your phone, especially right here on the side, I think the CPU is over here. I could be wrong. Uh, actually, this might be the battery. I forget. But over here on my phone in particular, uh, I will get it will get very warm. And that's how I knew the app was broken. So I'm going to show you the app right now. I'm going to go into utilities, scroll all the way over. The app is called VSync. So if you have one of those Lavoit air purifier, air filters, this application makes my phone super hot. I know for a fact that it drains my battery quicker. So I try not to use the app as much as possible. I go in, check the graphs, turn on my air purifier, whatever, and then I'm out. Now, before you report this to a developer, you need to reboot your phone. Go watch my video on how to properly restart your phone uh, if you need to know how to do that. But I highly recommend you properly restart the phone by waiting the three to five minutes, whatever, link down below. You can watch it after this video. Then go back into the app and see if it does the same thing. If it does, email the developer, say, hey, I'm on the latest iOS, I updated your app, I rebooted my phone, and your app still makes my phone hot and wastes battery. And then they will say, okay, cool, maybe give them some logs, or maybe they just know where to go and look for it. But those are two ways to figure out what's using your battery. The first thing is, if you have a suspicion that an app's using your battery, go in to your battery usage right here, find the app, take a look, make sure that your suspicions are correct. The next way, take off any cases on your phone, take off all that, uh, let the phone cool down so it's cool to the touch, and then open the app up for about five minutes. Just let it sit on the screen, and that will let you know if the app is bad. That is rare, though, that I have an app that heats up my phone like that, especially when you're doing nothing. That is incredibly rare. So VSync, unfortunately, it's bugged out right now as of filming this on March 12th, 2023. Maybe they'll fix it, maybe not. And yeah, it's very rare, but I wanted to make this video because it's a little different. And m something that most people probably don't think about is to check the phone for heat when the app is not really doing much. So if you like the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, send it to your friends and family. They might actually like this video. Of course, check out our other video on how to properly charge your phone and how to properly restart your phone because those are two things people think is easy, but they're probably doing it wrong. So I got thumbs up, subscribe, peace.